Hi, my name is Zane Campbell and you're in my uh, house. These are illustrations I drew starting in the early 80s going into the 90s. They're illustrations for a book I wrote called The Alcoholic Janitor and I, it, the book was bought by Kitchen Sink Press. They went bankrupt. The book never came out but these are the original drawings illustrating this story and they go all the way around here And now we're going to go and see some more of them in the other room, in the bedroom. Now here are some more illustrations from the alcoholic janitor. I know that's redundant, but I was an alcoholic janitor, okay, when I was 22. And these are all stories, real stories that uh, happened to me at a boarding house in Manhattan. I worked there from 1980 to 1998, unfortunately. And that's the actual building up top there. And I recently played the Newport Folk Festival up in Rhode Island, July 28th. And this is uh, what I stole out of the, all the swag bags. I know they're free, but I stole more than my share. And I got all this swag shit coming out of the bag. Smithsonian Folkways is actually my Aunt Olabelle's record label because they bought Folkways. Let's move on. Now my second book, I didn't write. I illustrated it. It was written by my brother Lon, who's dead now, but he was an undertaker and he was alcoholic. The alcoholic undertaker. I, uh, I did the illustrations. He wrote the book. These are all drawings from mortuary school lecturing. They worked in the morgue. You see bodies in advanced states of decay. There's the dead tattooed man. And they, they, the school put them up at, at this Hotel Alcott. And it's right next to the Dakota, right there. John Lennon was shot right there. Okay. Um, and these are also illustrations from The Alcoholic Undertaker. Don't zoom in on those, whatever you do. Okay, we're going to move right along. Into the kitchen. Where I'll just let uh, Glenn uh, zoom around here and uh, shoot. Don't zoom, whatever you do. And uh, here, here's my grandfather. Over here, Glenn. 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 There's my grandfather, grandmother, there's my father. There's Olabel when she was 13. Let's move on into the black light room now. Not the dark room, the black light room. This is the black light sideshow. Me and a few other black light artists all got together, Liz and Iris, a few other people. We did all these big things on canvas, like a sideshow thing. Over here, I got a six foot by four foot crucified Elvis. I call it crucified Elvis. It's, you can't see much of it. It's six feet wide by four feet tall. Now, here's a, a black light painting I did back in the 90s. And over here, the fan's in the way, but who cares? That's everybody's favorite for some reason. And over here is the only trippy one I did. This, I don't think of this as hippie art. I think of it as folk art. All right. Cut that camera and we'll go out and see the big painting.